Hey everybody, this is Brian back with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that talks about all different kinds of music and entertainment, and we interview some of your favorite artists. So if that sounds good, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll keep up with everything that Kevin and I are putting out there. And today I wanted to do a video where I talk about six of who I think are some of the most influential artists or bands in the history of rock and roll music. And so I, I think you'll all agree, there, there's going to be some difference of opinion. I'm sure you guys are going to have some bands that you think should be added to the list, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And I'd love to hear what you think of my six choices. Now, these aren't necessarily in order as far as what I think is the most important or the most influential. I kind of put them chronologically from, you know, first to latest. Um, and these, what's weird is these aren't necessarily my favorite artists, although I will say I respect all six very much. I, I like all six, but they're, they're not necessarily my favorite artists. But I think they've shaped rock music more than anybody that I can think of up to this point. So with that, we'll go ahead and jump right in. And the first one is obvious. It's the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. I mean, I don't think you can make a list like this and not have Elvis on it. Elvis truly was the first mega superstar. I mean, between the music, the movies, everything else, the guy had it all. And he almost was too big, to be honest. It, it, it's almost like he couldn't have a normal life because he was that huge of a star. To this day, his music stands as test, the test of time. It's still phenomenal music. Everybody, I mean, little kids on up to 90-year-olds love Elvis. And I think that always will be the case. I mean, he's the king for a reason. So, of course, we had to start with Elvis Presley. Next is a, a band that's really, I mean, right up there with Elvis. And that, of course, is the Beatles. Uh, I, I don't think, again, just like Elvis, I don't think you have rock and roll today like we have it now without the Beatles. Beatle media is still going strong. I mean, they came over from England, what, 50, 60 years ago at this point? And you know, they still have one of the largest fan bases in all of music history. I mean, you can't go everything from their older stuff all the way up through Yellow Submarine. and, and I, I, They've stood the test of time better than anybody. So I think you really have to tip your hat to the to the Beatles. Um, the third one I want to talk about, and we're going to kind of veer off a little, but I think you'll agree that this guy had a huge impact on rock and roll, and that's Johnny Cash. And I know that may seem weird because he's a country superstar. He's an icon in the country music world. But I think you really have to look at country, particularly, you know, back in the 50s when... Uh, you had like Elvis, you had all these artists coming on. Country had a very strong influence on the shaping of rock and roll. And I think nobody demonstrates that better than, than Johnny Cash. I mean, you look now, Johnny Cash, again, like the others I talked about, his music stands the test of time. You talk to metalheads, the vast majority of them love Johnny Cash. Metal artists love Johnny Cash. I mean, Johnny Cash had that attitude that don't mess with me, and his songs are just classic. They stand the test of time. I'm a huge fan of Johnny Cash. I know many of you are. I think he had an immense impact on rock and roll. The next one is going to be Metallica. Um, from my mind, I think Metallica did more to put metal music mainstream than any band. I mean, you can look at Anthrax. You can look at, you know, of, of course, Black Sabbath. There, there are many bands that... You know, obviously are, are huge, and I, I absolute respect to them. But Metallica really are the ones that, that set things in motion that got people like, hey, I'm going to check out this metal. Um, and particularly, I, I know they got a lot of flack for it, but the Black Album. The Black Album was huge in bringing a ton of people who otherwise would not have listened to metal into the fold. I'm one of them. I, I, I remember the, the first metal song that I listened to and loved was Nothing Else Matters from Metallica, and that was off the Black Album. And that really opened a whole new world, and I'm very thankful to, for that. Uh, you know, Ke I talked about this before. Kevin was instrumental in, in my cousin Sean, and that was the song that they used to kind of introduce me to hard rock and metal, and now like, I, I love it. So I, I think Metallica really are, are forerunners to that. So now we're down to the last couple that I want to talk about, and of course I can't leave out Nirvana. Uh, Nirvana is the next band that I want to talk about. Kurt Cobain and uh, Dave Grohl. and yeah, I, They really... They came out in, in an odd time. They, they hit it big in a time when you know hair metal was really declining. I think people were getting sick of it. And they brought, of course, grunge in. You know, uh, obviously there was 
you know, bands like Pearl Jam and, and, you know, other ones like Stone Temple Pilots and other bands around that time. But Nirvana really was at the forefront of that. And I think Kurt Cobain was a genius as far as his, his lyric writing. His whole aesthetic, his whole, I mean, just his aura, everything about him really appealed to a new generation of rock fans. And I think they opened the door, again, kind of like Metallica did. They, they kind of really brought in a whole new genre of music. And I, I think it was absolutely influential, so you got to tip your hat to Nirvana. And the last band that I want to talk about in this video is Linkin Park. Linkin Park, I think, there were a lot of bands that mixed, you know, the hip-hop and the metal and the rock elements. And that, that's been around forever. I mean, to an extent, you had Beastie Boys, you had others. But nobody did it as masterfully as Linkin Park. You know, Chester Bennington was, God rest his soul, was just an awesome front man. And the way that they were able to mix those elements of hip-hop and metal and rock and just make something that was phenomenal. I mean, Hybrid Theory was one of the greatest albums that's ever been made. I, to this day, people will put it on and listen to it and absolutely love Linkin Park. So again, I think these six artists and bands that, that I talked about, for me, are the most influential on the history of rock music. But again, I'd love to hear from you guys. I know you're probably going to have some different opinions of some bands that I left out, and I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you can shape my opinion, make me change it. But as always, thank you guys for spending this time with us. We love you all, God bless, and rock on.